when we started fighting for this back in the 80s and, and what led to the contracts for the private companies to go to the space station, the goal was uh, to begin to create an environment where uh, we would move out of the government. You want to talk about elite, you know, before you used to be, have to be in the government. So at least we've taken a step now towards uh, regular people being able to go. Um, one thing, too, um, that we need to remind people, um, it was interesting tied to Manny's comment. Uh, hey, Manny, how you doing? Um, is that we forget. Uh, I think the last two orbital flights, I may get this wrong, um, were were populated other than the the person who actually bought them or paid for them uh, by people who couldn't have ever afforded to go on their own, if I, if I want to get that right. Also, this one that um, strangely some people are making fun of that just occurred, uh, I think two of the people, two of the women that were on the flight uh, were people who would have never been able to go on their own, and they were funded by groups like Space for Humanity and such. Um, and we need to push back on that, that this new uh, stereotyping. And of course, one has to wonder how much of all of this is tied to the current political environment, uh, the oligarchy billionaire type thing. I wrote about this um, on space.com in a, an essay called The Elysium Effect uh, about four years ago, uh, that when people started flying, people are going to come for them because they're easy targets, manifestations of, of sort of a... a uh, you know, a disparate wealth economy uh, problem that we have. Um, and so we're dealing with both of those at the same time. But as going back to Frank, um, people who flew in, in the air used to be called jet sitters. And I mean, Frank Sinatra's song, uh, you know, and uh, I wasn't an adult back then. I'm going to be clear, but uh, come fly with me, come fly, come fly away. That was the anthem of jet setters. Um, because that was so super cool to be able to climb on a plane and fly that he did a song about it at the time. Uh, and now, you know, we all go. Same thing with all the technology we're using to have this broadcast, to have this conversation. These were items that only the wealthy could afford. We now need to get and make sure that we have market forces that are pushing those costs down because the goal is for anyone uh, who has the dream to be able to go.